Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer shares a work from our permanent collection and poses a few questions for discussion. We ask that you check back every day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new chat. Hi, my name's Emily, and I'm the Director of Learning and Interpretation for the museum. And for today's Cam Look, I thought I would share how the museum catalogs works when they come into our collection. Have you ever wondered what that little number is on a label next to a work of art in our galleries? Let me tell you. That number is the accession number. Let's look at this label for our priest or magistrate portrait from ancient Greece. Do you see that the number says 1973.292? What do you think that number means? Well, as I said, that is what we call an accession number, and it tells us when a work of art came into the collection and what number of item it is that we received that year. So this work came into our collection in 1973, and it was the 292nd item we received that year. So let's look at a few other works from our collection. Sometimes the object that has been in the collection the longest is not the oldest object in our collection. Here are two examples. This bird effigy from the Santa Clara Pueblo is from about 1880, and it came into our collection in 1881. It was the fourth item we acquired in the year the museum was founded. We did not even have a building in Eden Park yet. The museum was one of the first to collect American Indian art. While the bird effigy has been in our collection the longest, this black-topped redware beaker with the depiction of a Barbary sheep from about 4,500 to 3,650 BCE has been around on this earth a lot longer, but only in our collection since 1999. As you look around the galleries, Take a look at our accession numbers and think about what happened in history on a specific year that that work came into our collection. Sometimes it will be a personal collection, like these two works. Shushaka Arakawa's color lithograph, Redolence, came into the collection in 1975, the year I was born. And this amazing dress from Arnold Scazi from fall 1992 came into the collection in 1993, the year I graduated from high school. That would have been a fun prom dress to wear. As a historian, I find it interesting to look at works that came into our collection at the start of a new century or during years in which major historic events took place. This painting, View of the Claudian Aqueduct near Rome by Thomas Worthington Whitteridge, was the first item we, we added to the collection in 1900. And this Fabergé cameo box was the first item we added to the collection in 2000. Looking at major historical events, our amazing Don Quixote painting by Corot was given to the museum in 1919 by Mary Emery. The same year Congress passed the 19th Amendment giving women the right to vote. And the last few works I wanted to share are interesting because the subject matter directly reflects the year they were given to the collection, which is rarely the case. These studies by Henry Mosler capturing moments related to the Revolutionary War and America's independence were all given to the museum in 1976, the year we celebrated our bicentennial. So the next time you visit the Cincinnati Art Museum, I challenge you to take a look at our accession numbers and think about what might have been happening in the year a specific work of art came into our collection. Was it a moment in history or maybe even just your personal history? If you're looking from home I, on our online database, I challenge you to look up a year and see what you find. What year will you look up? We actually have 139 years to choose from. Thanks and have a great day.